G'day guys, Josh here, and welcome to the Lost Ark New Players Compendium, and I thought I would just, you know, give a bit of a vibe check of basically uh, what happens when you enter Tier 2, okay? So basically, Tier 2 is when you hit 600 eye level, okay? When you hit 600 eye level, you can go to Tier 2, and this is where you probably end up in Yawn, okay? This is the first area that you end up, which is basically being in Yawn, and you do a story chain here basically as well. Now... There isn't really anything different from the other story chains you've already done in Yawn. Yawn's a bit shorter and stuff like that. But we're going to try and introduce you to some of the new mechanics that you find in Tier 2. Now, obviously we're not going to go through, like, you know, of course there's an upgrade, Chaos Gate, and stuff like that. But we're not really going to go through, like, you know, what changes in Tier 2, like the maps wise and stuff like that as well. So let's just go through here as well. So with Currency, instead of Harmony Shards, you now will be dealing with Life Shards, okay? So that's one little check as well and um in the honing tab as well we'll go check it out so the main changes so the next honing tab as well like you'll be doing in life leap stones instead of harmony leap stones and also you'll be introduced to fusion materials as well which we'll go through in another video quite shortly after this so first of all welcome to tier two and second of all remember that there's a new set of mats that are coming in as well that you do have to deal with now there's other mats as well basically for the new honing mats as well is there's new guardian stones and destruction stones so they're a new stone that is used for tier 2 honing and those are things you should you know basically pay attention to as well but we won't talk we, we're going to talk about the fusion mats and materials later but the fusion materials are required from i think level 7 level 8 and if you don't have them you can't upgrade your gear okay and the fusion materials can be gathered in multiple ways which is fishing excavating and uh i completely forgot the third one i uh, hunting but we'll get through it you know at another video all I'm doing is just introducing you to Tier 2 um, at the start. Now, the speed run to Tier 3, as you guys may have mentioned in the previous video, as I talked about iron and stuff like that, that's also incredibly relevant here, as they also have a speed run to Tier 2 guide, where you can get a lot of Tier 2 mats. Now, a few islands that they don't mention as well for Tier 2 mats is definitely the Azula Winds Island, which I believe is right here. You do want to do this one as best as you can. You will need some songs from Harmony Island and the various adventure islands that we've talked about as well. Because basically, um, if you don't get them, like basically you can't complete a Zero Wind Island. But there's a few other islands as well. There's another island down here, which is which does take a, a, a few back and forth called Phantasm Island. And that rewards some, I believe that rewards some Tier 2 mats as well. And, you know, you definitely want to do that once you get the Tier 2 mats on the board as well. Now, what's the main difference with Tier 2, okay? We, we talk about the ones that we've already got, okay? So the Chaos Dungeons, as I said before... Your first tier 2 dungeon will be Yawn 1, and you get a new set of gear, as you can see here. So basically, what you can do as well with your old tier 1 gear, um, you can either just dump it, which I'm going to say you do not want to do that, or you can gear transfer it to upgrade it to the new tier, and you get also a plus 20 eye level boost for doing so. So basically, what you do is you gra is you'll grab your guys, you know, grab your armor from the pit, and we're going to go to the Great Smithy to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you go grab your great smithy gear, you come to this guy, Dysa. Dysa, Dysa, Dysa. And what you do here is you do gear transfer, and you select the Providence piece here. So basically, imagine the Fidelity's rank 1, okay? Basically, Fidelity rank 1 would be here. You click that, and you transfer the gear over, and it'll become 620, okay? This is, only, this is the only tier between tier 1 and tier 2 we get a decent eye level upgrade. When you transfer to tier two and tier three, you actually don't get any upgrade whatsoever. You only get like a four level upgrade, but you upgrade three times to the next level to plus two. But in tier one to tier two, you get an extra upgrade. You get a plus one, which is 20 eye levels. And it does help you out in the long run. It saves you a bit of mats, but not too much, but a bit of mats at least. So that's another little tip and trick to do as well. Now with the other events in tier two, so the next few videos are gonna talk about boss rush, we're going to talk about gems and we're going to talk about um the you know the other stuff that are unique to tier two basically as well fusion materials being the third one so first off we're going to talk about the guardian raids as well with the guardian raids basically at this stage you should have killed all of these guardian raids so you should have just killed tatalos you'll be on to dark lagoros helgaia Caventus, and achades as you can see here basically with the 802 eye level overall you've Overall, these bosses are quite easy. Achades is probably one of the harder ones, given the fact that Achades really tests your reaction time. So Achades reaction time testing is very, very huge here. Then next up, you get to Alvaristic. The, these three are very easy. 
uh, Levanos probably being slightly difficult, but once you get used to his destruction and dodging all his attacks and stuff like that and not trying to counter his counter, it should be fairly easy. But Alborastic is probably one of the harder ones. Um, some people, what they do is that they get to the next tier, then complete it. Alborastic is probably one of those that you may want to do that with as well. But, you know, that's that's the uh, that's the fact of the matter with the tier 2 Guardian Raids as well. Now, the tier 1 Guardian Raids, Titalis is quite difficult, but overall, he should be quite easy for most of you to do. And all the other ones are very, very easy to do as well. Virtus shouldn't be much of a challenge at all for if you're in tier 1 still, if you want to do those very, very quickly. Overall as well, you get introduced to a new Abyssal Dungeon. We talked about Abyssal Dungeons previously. And you get introduced to the Ark of Arrogance. So the Ark of Arrogance is basically Yawn's Abyssal Dungeon. It is pretty simple overall. However, there are a few mechanics in uh, Road of Laminate. I think it's the last boss and the Forge of Fallen Pride, which is one of the last bosses as well. That you do need an element mechanics, otherwise you will wipe. There's one in particular, I think it's the Kaiser, that you need to make sure you absorb four holy balls or something like that. The uh, the mechanics get quite difficult here, and you need like a party-wide effort to do it. Not one person can carry. You also get to unlock, once you get into Phaeton for Tier 2, you unlock the Gate of Paradise via Nineveh. And you can finally talk to Nineveh as per se. And you can make and you can get her unlock her rapport if you have high enough, you know, if you have high enough uh virtue stats to do so. Now with these, these are actually more oriented. This one's more of a vehicle based fight, but these ones here, I'm gonna say right now, are more oriented with um with raid wide mechanics and like you know, group split group mechanics as well, where one group's gonna do one thing and vice versa. And this will help you out in the future for Argos and many other mechanics as well. So if you've got a static group or anything like that that needs to do these each, you know, each week and stuff like that, I would say definitely doing Albert, uh, definitely doing Gate of Paradise and definitely doing Ark of Arrogance and Fours uh, is most definitely the uh, most ideal way to, you know, help in Tier 2. Also, I've got to say right now, you can only get four players in the Ark of Arrogance and in Gate of Paradise, you have eight players, okay? So be aware of that as well, that you do need eight players for Gate of Paradise and it you know, you got to have some patience as well, because some of these boss fights, especially, I think the Turtle and Alarak as well, are quite difficult. They're quite difficult boss fights. For example, for Alarak, for example, there's a spear mechanic where there's a giant arrow, and the last spot is randomized, so the last player has just got to quickly move over to the other side. And last but not least, in, the, I think, Tranquil Kykosa, there's a Turtle boss where everyone's got to soak an orb. If one person doesn't soak an orb, it's a raid wipe. And um, it can be quite difficult. And, you know, you've got to be very, very patient as well. Not to mention as well, you can do the challenge Guardian Raids as well. Since they're 960, you can finally do those. They are unlocked for you, basically. So you can do those for the week. And that is from the Dungeon POV and from the normal content POV. That's pretty much it. You know, honing still the same. The Basically, with the honing support mats, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's, they're now called Moon's Breath instead of Star's Breath. Overall, with Tier 2, like, nothing's really changed from the honing aspects other than the addition of fusion materials. And, you know, we're going to go through the rest of it in future videos. Okay, guys? Hope you guys have a great day, and welcome to Tier 2. If you got the 600 eye level, congratulations, okay? Hope you enjoy, you know, the slightly harder mechanics in Lost Ark, and hope you enjoy more of a challenge. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Well, I'm not the game developer or anything like that, but, you know, I'm really, really happy that you guys stuck with it and stuck through my compendium, and hopefully it's helped you guys out. Have a great day, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you do want to watch me live, you can catch me on twitch.tv, only Josh on TV. But I gotta say right now, well, I guess it can be a bit exciting to see what's coming up for you in the new tier as well. See what I'm doing. But hope to see you guys again. Yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.